Today we're going to figure out if Elijah Craig C923 laser codes matter. I'm going to tell you why in just a second. Elijah Craig C923, one of my personal favorite Elijah Craig barrel proof batches in a very long time now. We reviewed ours and rated it very highly. It placed very highly in our end of the year whiskeys. We found out that there are different laser codes on different Elijah Craig C923s. There's an A23 laser code, there's an A22 laser code. A laser code from a distillery that's put onto a bottle generally just references the date, month, and year that it was bottled. Since these are in theory the same batches of whiskey, there wouldn't have been any differentiation. It would have been a vatted whiskey. It would have been bottled in the same week or give or take. They would have been the exact same. Now, the rumor or speculation is that these laser codes taste completely different. So we do have an A22 here. We have an A23 here. And we've got a handful of people coming over today. Nobody knows we're gonna do this. They're all gonna have three whiskeys blind. Two of them will be one of these bottles. One of them will be the other laser code. And I'm just gonna have everybody pick a favorite. It's as, it's as simple as picking a favorite today. If A23 laser code is everybody's favorite, maybe there's something to the laser code debacle. If A23 isn't everybody's favorite, or if we think they're the same, then maybe there's nothing to it. Maybe it was all just for fun. Let's just see if they're any different whatsoever. <laughs> all right, all we're gonna do here, you have three glasses. Pick a favorite. Yeah. Okay. That's it. All you gotta do is pick a favorite. Mm -hmm. Just pick, just pick a favorite. Our whiskey? Like that, huh? No. None of this is I was going to say, we don't have whiskey that None tastes like that. No. Okay. That makes way more sense. No. I know Where the, are you from? I know the bottles, but I don't know the order now because they're in form of order. Well, I can't say that because it will ruin some shit. It would ruin the thing. If is I it a pick you. or are these barrel samples? If I give you any hints, you'll be the first person to figure it out. <laughs> promise. <laughs> I promise you will. Otherwise, yeah. I'd give you a hand. Drink whiskey, all right. Yeah, yeah, drink the whiskey, pick your favorite. Toasted blackberries. I got a lot of tannins. Ooh, sugary. Brown sugar. Ooh, it's got some proof on it. Or it's the rye. If there's rye in it, there's probably no rye in it. Yeah, there is a lot of heat that falls through yeah. on that. A little floral fruity. I like the nose on that. There's not a lot of ethanol that comes off of it or anything. Ooh, it's got more proof though when you drink sugar. it. Dark berry, woody. Two are better than one of the two. So, are better than one. Yes. Oh, that one's out for me. Oh, that nose. I'm I'm stuck between these two. Huh? There's proof on them. Would this? I mean, I didn't do I last. know about what these would be? I can't give any hints. No. I can't. I but I'd love to. <laughs> truly, I would. It is better for the video this way. For this topic of this video, okay. it's better that you don't know anything about it. Oh, uh, I know what it is then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Never mind. I already know what this is. Mm -hmm. It's closer than I'd like to think. I love the finish on this one a lot. Like the finish. The front matches the profile that of the bottle of the distillery. The finish, I'm like madly in love with on this one. Not so much berries. The stale melon. There's a stale something. That just seemed really thin on the palate. Nothing really one note. stood out. I, I still, you get something stale on the nose? Yeah. So one definitely. One stood out yep. better. Two, not so much. Not near as nice to know, a little flatter. A little plainer. Kind of a little woody drying on the end, but it just doesn't have a whole lot to it as far as flavor. But yep. to finish on this, I like. Finish on this, I didn't as much. I felt like these two were different from one another. And I preferred this on the finish. Everybody's okay. drinking the same thing, okay. but the orders are different. Marshmallow, I was gonna say marshmallow. Marshmally, toasty. Mm -hmm. it was a, there's a hug on the backside there. Yeah. Down in. So number one's my favorite. Yeah. For both of you? Yeah, one's really good. All right. Yeah, one is kind of a standout. Like, one's yeah. a standout. If, if, if this was a bottle. That's a good phrase. I would yeah. be very, very happy with that one. With one? Yeah. yeah. Kind of flat, no nose. Sweeter dry oak, caramel. Well, I like the nose on one and the taste on three, so I got to figure out which one. This one, this one's very flat on the nose, but I really like the taste and the finish. Okay. This is my favorite. That's your favorite. What number is it? One. One. Okay. What you just poured me is what you had. Oh. 
Okay, well, this is interesting. Now. Isn't it? Makes it more interesting, doesn't it? Wait, you just poured that and didn't think that's what you're drinking? I thought they, they, they were the blends you guys were putting together. <laughs> hey, you guys got a couple fucking bangers. <laughs> <laughs> the, this glass, I prefer. I don't know where this stands. I don't even know with those two, which yeah, you got to pick a favorite. It's yeah, only I, about picking a favorite yeah, now, because well, oh, I have a favorite. I've always had a favorite. Oh, what's your favorite? Uh, number one. Damn. Wow, that's wild. Yours was actually ended up being one as well. Everybody's all four of you favorite was number one. I feel like I split in here between one and two though. Wildly enough, one and three feel wildly different. Two kind of amorphously felt like whatever I drank. Next to it, I believe that this. I believe this to be my favorite one, but I don't know if these two are the same or not. Everybody was drinking Elijah Craig C923 in every glass. The difference is this laser codes on the back. Really? All of the laser code nonsense that's going around, like 23 is the best batch of all time, and then A22 was not a good batch at all. So. Our buddy Luke helped us get an A22. Now you drank them in different orders, but all had the same pours. So you guys were all drinking. No, glass one was laser code 23 and all of you picked one and glass two and three were 22. So what's weird for me is it's glass one two, two felt better, better, but it, it really depended on the order that I drank it. Yeah. So if I drank this two drink, good. Yeah. if I drank three two drink bad. Okay. So for my <laughs> unveiling here, two was my least favorite and one was my favorite. What are those? Those are both a 23. That's interesting. So you're the problem. So I'm the problem. <laughs> but I don't, I just think that they're almost the exact same. Yeah. If sure. one was a bottle, I would be super happy to have a bottle. Uh -huh. yep. The other two were like, they're, they're good. They're yeah. just, there's something yeah. that's not as good as the first class. Right. I would say, I, I do believe it's marginally better, but I think it's very close because I couldn't place where I wanted to put this mm -hmm. one in between. Listen, if you got a laser code 22, I, at this point, I wouldn't be upset. Yeah. Personally, I would not. I wouldn't be. The other inconsistency uh, here is I knew what the bottles were when I sat down. Mm -hmm. Which is what I got. So I am intentionally looking There's for differences like between the three, trying, and couldn't show. find them. Unless someone sat down and had an A23 and an A22, mm -hmm. poured them back yeah, to back and went, yep. whoa, those are a little bit different. Yep. What, what, what's different? And started looking at it and then like, oh, they're different laser codes. That's it. That is the only reason that I think anyone would notice a batch variation. Because I just drank 22 again. Tastes it's right. fine. Yeah. Tastes fine. It, it, it's, it's fine. It's, it's, Bra, it's good job, drums and drams, you son of a bitch. Look what you did. Look what Whiskey's you did. Whiskey's fine, you piece of shit. Oh my God. We're what the bourbon that? junkies. This is the end of the video. Can I use that? Oh, I can't. I called him the other day. I actually blamed him for starting this whole thing, and he said it you wasn't did. me. You did. No, in a DM on Facebook. He goes, I swear to God, it wasn't me. I think it was some Reddit or some shit. I swear to God, he said that. He completely denounced his, his guilt. On the Whiskey of the Year video, you talked about it. Yeah. Oh, you were like, all right, Cam. He told me it was on Reddit or some shit, I think was his exact word. Yeah, it was on Reddit, not on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. This son of a bitch. All right, now that the, the water's going, We're like, good. comment, subscribe. Cheers. Thank you guys for playing with us. Yeah. Playing this game with us. Um, How crazy is it though? I'm, How crazy is it? Real quick, put this in the video. You edit this. Me. Nobody's guessing those are all the same whiskeys and that's the same whiskeys. Two of the glasses were identical in every flight. Yeah. That's how fucking hard this shit is. So when I win Matt Madness back to back. I guess they were all the same. You did, I, you did not guess. At the end, I did. Because I knew, I knew we talked about doing oh, this yeah, video. Yeah, yeah. So. Almost good blends coming out of Freeland, yeah. Michigan. Aaron! Yeah. Mom, the meatloaf! You never know what he's doing in there. You never know what he's doing in there. He's been back there. I asked him to pour three things. He's been there for two hours. I don't know what's going on. Because I've got picture evidence, so I don't screw this up and set the whole world <laughs> yeah, on fire for you. You imagine? <laughs> We've had Aaron pour one thing. He's like, I don't know what happened. I don't know. Like you come here and bottle next week. All I can see is that.